Where is the money going? It is being stolen and being spent on wrong priorities to massage Ruto's ego. And that is not all. Quietly, Ruto is trying to change the country's debt ceiling from the current absolute number of Kenya shilling 10 trillion to a moving number of 55% of GDP. And right now they are trying to bring an amendment in the parliament that will remove the parliamentary authority to sanction increase of debt. The debt level is already 60% of the GDP. To beat that violation of the law, Ruto wants to force an amendment to the Public Finance Act to allow the National Treasury and not Parliament to set new debt ceiling, which is why we are calling on Kenyans to reject excess taxation to finance wasteful expenditure. It is urgent that we bring Ruto back to Earth because he lives on another planet. As this bill heads to the National Assembly, we must remind Ruto that excessive taxation is stifling growth. We must tell Ruto that when people have to park cars at home because of cost of fuel, it is bad for the economy. We must tell him that when Kenyans postpone traveling up country because they can't afford fuel or fare, it is bad for the economy. We must tell him that when people choose to stay indoors because they, they want to spend less on expensive goods, it is bad for the economy. And you must tell him that these things are happening now here in this country. Rather than burden Kenyans, we want Ruto to undertake the following. One, stop duplication of county roles and responsibilities. In the proposed bill, budget for health is growing by 35 billion shillings at the national level, yet health is a devolved function. Two, adopt a zero-based budgeting. Don't take the previous budget at the baseline. Every budget must start at ground zero where everything has to be justified. Three, don't grow the size of the budget. Cut it down and live within your means. Four, instead of imposing 